Yeah, definitely, dude. I definitely noticed it because I was like, all right, I'm gonna eat mad calories, and and that's what I did. And I figured, like, all right, you know, this refeed, I'm gonna crush my my upper body workout. I'm definitely gonna progress on the incline because that's where I've been sticking lately. So I even had all those calories, and it's like I still like progress just as much as I would if I didn't eat that many calories, even if I just ate around like 36, 3700 instead of the 56, you know? And so I could really tell yesterday, I was just like, I mean, I definitely look insane. Like I was massive, you look big, yeah. but like my, my performance wasn't where I was expecting it to be. Right. Yeah. It's just a matter of recovery there. Yeah. That's all that is. And it's just like, I'm so like, I'm so excited to be like lifting heavy and like moving weight like I've never moved before. So like, you know, I mean, I want to keep progressing every workout, but it's really like starting to work against me. Yeah, that makes sense. See, when I did pH three towards the end, it, it, it's perfectly done like this, but there's like an overreaching phase for two weeks. And like you literally just watch your performance go down. Yeah, I remember you. Yeah, I remember when you were going through that stage. Bro, I was, I was literally, I'm not even telling you, I was like, bro, I'm getting weaker. I don't know if this program is like actually designed right. Yeah. I came up Lane Norton, and Lane Norton even said it's supposed to be like that until you deload. When you deload, your all the uh, adaptations and muscle that you've put on, uh, well, that you can actualize it. The yeah. problem is right now, I, the problem is right now, you're probably, you're more than likely, I can guarantee you, you're more than likely, I would say, 10 to 15 percent stronger than you are, but you can't see it because you're not recovered. You can't even actualize the change that you've made. Like, I, 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 I'm willing to put money on it. If you deload it correctly, is it probably a high chance you measure 315? Oh, yeah, I really think so. Mm -hmm. If you deload it and you feel so refreshed, had a nice solid day of like, you know, 150 grams of fat or something like that, and like 500 grams of carb. Uh huh. You came in the next, and you came in the next day. You were fucking. Either, either you would hit that PR, or all the weight that you previously did would go up at probably 25 to 30 percent faster. Definitely. Yeah. Because all, all your weights are move faster, so. Yeah. You just gotta, you gotta. Trust me, I fucking, I used to avoid deloading for the longest time because it's so fucking boring. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's so fucking boring. But then, like, I, I started doing it and I started getting stronger, stronger. I got, dude, that, how do you think? That's why I went on 753. Uh -huh. I hit 315 and I hit 225 on the overhead press because it forces you to do a deload every fifth week. The way the program is designed is there's so much volume in there. By the time week four rolls around, just like your program right now, you start feeling like shit. Keith will tell you, he's still running it. You start feeling, you always start feeling like fucking dog shit on like week four, on every single block. Uh -huh. Every single, every single block. Every single, every single time. And I'm like, what the fuck? And like, you take the deload, and you come back, you add the weights to your maxes, to your training maxes, uh -huh. and, and next thing you know, the weights flying up after the deload. Yeah. So, it's the only way, it's, it's, yeah, it's the only way. It's almost like fucking water, watching it in our sailing. Sometimes it goes up, Sometimes it goes down. It's just never gonna constantly be more up, you know? Yeah. That recovery is more. Yeah, definitely. And it and it's almost like it reminds me of back when I was like trying to stay shredded. You know what I mean? It's just like I was I was really un underfeeding my body and just basically overtraining because I can't recover. And it's almost it's almost like I'm doing the same thing now. Like, oh, I'm in a surplus, but I'm so excited to be moving weight. Oh yeah, I do. that yeah, I'm I just know exactly what you mean. And I, and I used to and I used to think like that too. Um, after coming from a diet phase, I used to think, oh, I'm in a surplus. I can train as hard as I want and as frequent as I want and with, with as much volume as I want. Yeah. And dude, it's like it's like there's only there's a fucking tipping point. You know what yeah. I mean? Even if you're on fucking eight thousand calories a day. Yeah. There's a tipping point even for people who are on drugs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's a tipping point for everyone where there's just only so much volume you can recover from, you know? And if you keep on adding in more and more and more volume, either one of two things is going to happen. Either your performance is going to start to go down because you're overreached, or there's a chance you're going to get an injury because you're trying to exert it. the same amount of strength and the muscle fibers are all fucking overtrained, you know? So either injury or your strength is going to be crazy. You know? Absolutely. And you're gonna also feel fucking tired and let go. But I'd always feel like I told you even like even that last deload I did. When I told you I did it and I'm like, man, now I feel fucking good. Yeah. Yeah. It was a boring workout, boring workout to do it, but then the next couple days I'm like each day I'm like, dude, I'm feeling better. You know what I mean? I'm feeling better. Yeah. yeah.
even even just thinking felt more clearly. You know what I mean? Like I can easily easily spot out when I'm starting to get overtrained. I just, I I know it because like even on days when I'm just walking around in the gym or like when I'm at home at night and I just I don't want to even fucking move. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I definitely. Can, uh, implement those you know, dude, and I think you'll be you'll be fine. Yeah, absolutely. Even if to, even if today, I mean today, obviously it's the last day. Is this the last last workout of the block? Today, yeah, today like, today's my last session of this phase, and so I'm thinking even like. What about legs tomorrow? Don't you like? No, nah, today's Friday, my last day. Saturday, Sunday, I'm off. What do you have today? Uh, deadlifts. Deadlifts, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I mean obviously I'm not gonna say deload now. Finish it. Finish whatever these general training is. Even if you're gonna, it's probably gonna be like shit just because you're overreach. Yeah. But it's okay. You know what I mean? Like, probably to make sure you warm up and your technique is good, you'll be fine. And then, do that. So I highly recommend before starting the next phase, deload. If you don't, if you don't you're going to dig yourself in the hole by like week two. Oh, that definitely. And I'm just probably going to risk injury. If you're going to risk, yeah, it's, it's a high risk of injury. I'm just going to back in and park on the side. Right here? Yeah. yeah I'll park right here too. <laughs> <laughs> what's up guys so as you guys just saw and heard um, i was on the phone with cabrera and uh, we were just kind of talking about training and stuff and so you know today i was just kind of feeling a little overreached as you guys been seeing you know i've been hitting prs every single workout you know progressing steadily but um it finally caught up to me, you know, like I haven't had any deloads. And so deloads are, are very important and very beneficial. So here I am doing my first working set, which is usually four reps. So what I did today is just uh, cut that volume in half and just did two. And so again, here's my second set. And so I'm using a 370 pounds and I was doing this for four reps, but today I just kept it at two. And so what this is gonna do this cuts back the volume, so it'll give your body a little bit of a break, you know, and let your CNS uh, fully recover. And so here's my third set. And so typically on the sets three through five, I'm doing eight reps. And so here I have 300 pounds on the bar, and I just did sets of four instead of the usual sets of eight. And um, I could already tell even just right after, you know, doing the deadlifts, with the lower volume, I just overall felt a little bit better, you know, because the, the deadlift is very, very taxing on the body. And then here I am just taking in some intro workout grapes. I always uh, bring like some fruit with me during training or, or even just some candy, just for like some quick, fast acting sugar. Next, I'm moving on to some lying leg curls. And uh, this exercise called for four sets of six to eight reps uh, unilateral so what I did was just I, I kept the sets the same so four total sets and I just uh, backed off on the reps so I just did five reps with each leg and next moving on to some side step ups and again this exercise is typically four sets with 10 to 12 reps that's what this training calls for with this phase and so what I did was just keep the sets at four and just backed off the amount of reps and just did a total of six reps per leg. And next movement, we have some back extensions, uh, one and a quarter rep. So as you guys can see, I go all the way down, up one and a quarter, and then back down. So this exercise, I was doing three total sets with 10 to 12 reps. And so th this exercise isn't very taxing. So I just did um, sets of eight. And last and final exercise, yeah, I'm just doing some cable crunches with the Swiss ball. Three total sets, and I'm just shooting for eight reps here. Uh, previously, I was doing 12 to 15, but just like the back extensions, it's not too taxing on the body, so I just kept the reps moderately high, around eight instead of doing like five. So, um, you know, nice and easy, this, this training session, you know, wasn't supposed to beat you up you know it's, it's meant to help you recover and uh, that way you can come back stronger give the video a thumbs up guys if you like this style of video and um, 
you know, I can make more of them, and I just feel like it could be beneficial for a lot of people to learn. So uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. Peace.